Galaxy. Second referee checking the rotations, making sure they're right. Blue Boys can come in and give this game up. Germany in the white serving. It's the USA in the red and blue receiving. It's match day two from week three of the Women's Volleyball Nations League. They're in Nebraska and the first point has gone to Germany. An ace serve, what a start that is for Pia Kessner. Another opportunity for the USA. Thompson again, this time goes to the line and puts it away. First one was Doug, and the second one, she'd been credited with a super spike, she found the gap in the block, there was nobody defending down the line, and it is one all. Over the top of the block of Kimberly Drevnik. Fecky with the serve. Decent ball in from Barber. Well kept in play by Lloyd, the middle attack not really quick enough, Thompson has to try and work the block, which she does. Nice up from Pogani. Thompson tried to limbo underneath that one, and it's quarter on the way out. Barber back to the serving line. for Lauren Gibbermeyer. Nice yeah, play by Stigrock. For all of the scouting that the USA will have done from match day one of Germany's game against Brazil, it's all in the wind here because it's not the same team that started the match. Similarly, though, for Germany, they will have been looking at where Jordan Poulter was putting the ball, the sort of swings that Larsen was having as well as what uh, Chiaka Bugu was doing through the middle, and all of that's in the, out the window as well, because those players aren't on court. So it's a whole new proposition for both teams across certain places on court, as Robinson gets that one off the block. So quite a lot of it will just be re reading and reacting to what's actually happening in front of the players. And then some real-time statistics being presented to Karch and also to Felix Kolovsky. That's why they've got earpieces in. They'll be getting information from the coaching staff that are outside of the court and watching, and scouting, looking at the rotations, looking at what's going on, and trying to provide information to help the teams overcome what's in front of them. Drevnik's got that one off the block and away. Germany with the lead. That's just got it straight down the line. No one getting anywhere near it. Revnik now with the serve. Great pick up. Oh, that's a monster block from Kelsey Robinson. But that's off of a really good read in the middle. Dana Recchi watching exactly what Kessler was doing, got a good touch, he was then picked up and then a super block from Robinson, a monster from her. Robinson with the serve. Good up from Thompson. Well, it's worth a swing from Thompson, she'd made the dig, Lloyd had got it back into a position where he could actually attack Germany, but good blocking from Germany side out. Just a grunt to serve. serve for the USA. Good 
serve coming in from Retke. Yes, they have it into transition. He couldn't find a gap on the line. It doesn't matter. Gibbermeyer with a massive block. It's a monster block. this with Hawkeye they're going to challenge that decision Oh, my goodness me. That is the perfect serve. Right in the corner. Wonderful serve from Dana Retke. An ace for her. Timeout. Run into the technical timeout, in fact. I say leading 8 5. Great start for them. Slabe, the assistant coach from Slovenia, giving some uh, words of wisdom. I had the pleasure of seeing him at the American Volleyball Coaches Association seminar in Minnesota last year. Run a little clinic on uh, a couple of drills that uh, players use in volleyball. It was excellent looking at uh, approaches and working the block. He's got a good team around him. Also, uh, the other assistant coach, Tamari Miyashiro, uh, former national team libero for the USA. Uh, part of the coaching staff. Touch from Thompson. And that's well rescued by Gibbermeyer. The ball from Lloyd was too slow. And a net touch against the USA by Laura Gibbermeyer. Some good hustle from the USA. Equally, though. Germany up to the task, and taking the point. Schertzel with the serve. Germany are very good at shutting down the slide behind. They're just waiting for Gibbermeyer. The monster block for Barber said okay if you're gonna run the slide I'm already here and then jump back into the cross court to take away the angle really good block from Barber this time though Gibbermeyer makes sure that the block doesn't get near the ball is then too hot for the defenders to handle in play but not any longer Thompson and Gibbermeyer making sure there was no angle for Barber to get the ball past them and into court Carly Lloyd to serve again Desperate dive, we couldn't keep the ball in play. Lena Stigrop giving it everything she had. She's too 
far away from uh, Pogani to go and get it. Germany call the timeout. They're down by four. So far, so good for the USA. Germany with a new look team for this game. Yet to really find their rhythm or settle into this match. Kozlowski does have options. He has uh, number 12, Hannah Orman, currently sat on the bench. Number six, Jennifer Gerties, currently sat on the bench. The two starting outside hitters from match day one. Not involved at the moment. Great swing from Barber. And he puts it high and wide. And Barber gets the block out. It's a good swing from Gibbermeyer. USA also have options as well. They might well expect to see double substitution. Jordan Poulter coming in to set, and then Andrea Drews as the opposite player to keep the setter in the back row. I wouldn't be surprised if that's something that Karch Karai has a look at. Excellent blocking. Three blockers getting up and shutting down the angle. Given it as a monster block, but it's a, a good triple block, doing exactly what it should do, closing down the angle when Germany were out of system. But they've now challenged, thinking that the USA may have made a net touch. angle at which to show the decision. Can you reverse the angle? To be sure that you can clearly see a net touch if there is one. So there's no uh, arguments going on then from either coach when show on the big screen. Obviously clear because they're still taking their time over this decision. I don't have anything, do you? Okay, well, the ball has come off the block and it's hit the net. It is not a player that's hit the net. It always can be the way when the net starts moving, you think, oh, it was a player touched it, but it wasn't. The ball has come down, hit the top of the net, and gone on the side of Germany. Absolutely no net touch with that one. USA will have the serve. Thompson got caught out then, decided to help out with the quick attack. Barber had a free swing. Fortunately for the USA, caught a bit of the net, and they almost got it in play. Otherwise, Carly Lloyd could have been in a bit of trouble down the line if Barbara had really got hold of that one. It's 
a good serve. Robinson will just get it in play. Free ball for the Germany. Three front court attackers. Barber available on the pipe. First attempt, no good. Trying again now. Bruce Stigrock. Her tip, no good. Oh, what an absolute belter from Robinson off the net, out of system. And that's the difference between the two teams. A super spike credited to Robinson is the power at which they can hit the ball. A couple of attempts for Germany, unsuccessful. And the first attempt that the USA can muster, they take the point. That's nicely played. That looks like it's on the baseline. Barber seems to think it was out. <laughs> Kelsey Robinson quite clearly saying, that's in, I want the challenge. The USA have challenged the decision, in or out. Enjoying that one. Fancy Robinson knew for a fact that it was in. And so into the second technical timeout, USA have a good lead now in this first set. So this is where statistics can play a role in high-level sport. You just heard Lucas Slave say to his team, listen up, we are not going to be bothered by number 18, Schwertmann, for Germany. And when you look at the stat, Schwertmann hasn't had a swing yet. She hasn't had a point. She's not been involved in the match. And that is in part down to the USA serving. So they know they're serving well, well enough to make sure that Schwertmann isn't a threat. So they're not even going to bother to jump with her. They're going to then key in and go on to the players that are going outside. Although saying that, Retka was a little late. Good touch by Thompson. Good up from Barber. Free ball for the USA. And Retka puts it away. Harsh Vertman, another point for the home team here in Nebraska. Kamaya serves again. Good up from Lloyd. Becky came in to play it. Well, have been one that Retka should have played. She was trying to get involved and stop. The first swing that Schwertman had, and that was the only reason she had that swing, because she was the only option due to the pass that uh, Germany had put into the net. It's a call of out. It's a free ball now for Germany. Oh, dear. Timing's wrong, and it's an error from Drevnik. She come in to have a swing, she'd gone on her own timing, the ball was then too high, went past her. Panicked a little bit. Thompson with a serve. Carly Lloyd now into the front row for the USA, so a mismatch that Germany could exploit. Carly Lloyd, not one of the tallest players, not going to get that high on the net, but serving is causing Germany a real problem here. They're passing not so good. Call the timeouts as they lose another point. 
jetzt in der Annahme, macht das klar, welche wir verantworten werden, nehmen, dass wir ruhig reingehen in die Bälle, guten Loop bringen, ganz früh sein und laut und präsent sein, okay? Dann alle Angreifer, nie raus vom Feld, wir bleiben im Feld, so wir können immer auf den Ball antizipieren und wir müssen schnell schlagen, denn wir verzögern, kommt der Block, das heißt antizipieren, schnell wegschlagen die Bälle, so wir treffen den Block, wenn er hier passiv ist, okay? Hey, los, los! It's nine point cap that the USA have managed to achieve in part due to the greater experience they have even though the likes of Fecky and Retka are on court they are being carried by some very experienced volleyballers in Carly Lloyd, Lauren Gibbermeyer and Kelsey Robinson for uh, Germany not quite the same. Kessler's 20, Barber 24, Drevnik 21, Stigrup 24, Schürzel 21, and Schwertmann 25. It is a very young team for Germany. They don't have the experience. But having said that, this is what these matches are all about. Gaining that experience, getting points away like that, growing in confidence, and being able to compete. It's a long-term vision for Germany. This isn't all about the here and now for Felix Kozlowski. This is about developing a team that are going to compete on the world stage in a couple of years' time. And then be a force to be reckoned with for years to come after that. And it's those kind of plays that are going to help to develop that lovely swing from Kimberly Drevnik. Line to work with. Just checking, it might be out of rotation here, the USA. I can, I can not. All right. So this is how the way I have to proceed. No, you have all right. To start the game whenever someone has to come off. Sorry, sorry, Derek. Our red for right? Nice blocking. Nowhere for Robinson to go that time. It's the block credited for Germany. Both Barber and uh, Schürzel doing their job, closing down the angle. Very nice. That ball was going towards the net, but Fecky had a good angle to come in. Put it away. Let's go with the serve. Barber finds the gap between the two blockers. It's uh, called the seam. And that's what you're trying to exploit as soon as you see that. Try and get the ball in there. Very difficult to defend, especially for the second line behind the blockers, because the ball's likely to deflect off of a hand and take it in a different direction. Good up by Drevnik. That was nice. Barber coming in the way she was facing. Taking the ball on cross court, nobody able to stop it. From Germany paying off. Schürzel to serve. Brilliant setting from Carly Lloyd. Jumped early, just delayed a little bit, and then sent it out wide for Fecky to deliver a super spike.
gone into the net. Four touches called against Germany. But Germany are going to challenge this because they think it actually caught part of the block. There was no complaints from the USA. They were ready to keep going in the rally. So we're going to see whether or not any part of the block caught the ball. Which if it did, when it came back, Germany were able to start again. It would be their first touch. Yeah, fifth touch. Fifth touch. going to have two challenges per set. And if they are successful, they keep them. If they're unsuccessful, they lose a challenge. If they're yeah, unsuccessful again, they lose that one. If it's uh, deemed to have touched the block, which it has, because that's the only way the ball could have come at that angle. Once it's hit the net, there's no way it could have come back unless it hit the block like that. So it's going to be a do-over, as it's known in the States. The point will be replayed. been called as four touches. I wonder if Germany will challenge this one. They decided not to. Well, no, they have decided to challenge it, and I would as well. Exactly the same thing happened. The ball went in, come back at a similar angle. But the one thing that this Hawkeye system has has shown is that actually this particular call that we're getting to see again, nine times out of ten, that ball hits the block, which knowing that would make you think that the referees wouldn't call for four touches anymore. They just let it go and then let the blocking team challenge to say that they didn't touch the ball. Put the emphasis on the team who are in the blocking position. And we would see, as a result of that, we'd probably see less challenges for this particular play. Well, that's caught her again, hasn't it? Indeed it has. If I was coach, quite rightly, that uh, Koslowski has done, you challenge every single one of them, you get called for four touches. So another do-over, another replay. And at last, Germany put the ball on the floor. Schwertmann this time, good ball in, had an opportunity to run the middle. First clean swing from her. Not the best ball in, but Thompson put some pressure on, which meant uh, Germany had to give the ball back, and then Fecky with a great swing. Fecky now with the serve. USA two away from taking the first set. touch against the USA. Germany will take the point. Battling hard to keep the ball alive. Stigrut had the swing. Such good outlets on the wing have the USA, Thompson and Robinson and Fecky. There's no set point for the USA. Yeah. 
That's an excellent set from Pia Kessner. She was right on the net, had to make sure one, she didn't touch the net, two, she didn't take the ball from the USA side. And when you're jumping like that at full stretch, that takes a lot of core strength to then get the ball out wide for someone to have a swing on it. Off the block and away. Kelsey Robertson wraps up the first set. The USA take it, 25-18. Just the start that the home side wanted in front of the home fans here in Lincoln, Nebraska. And as Coach Karai would have anticipated going into this one, a relatively comfortable first set win without some of the uh, more experienced players having to take their tracksuit tops off. Jordan Larson and Andrea Drews, Chaka Bugu and uh, Jordan Polter all started on match day one, just able to stand and watch and enjoy the show, as did the fans. For Germany, they showed some moments of very good volleyball from their young players. It's now a question of whether Felix Koslowski will keep them on or whether he will bring in the likes of Louisa Lippmann or uh, Hannah Ortman. That remains to be seen. As far as the home fans are concerned right now, what they want to see is another set victory for the home side. All smiles at the moment. And as far as that first set's concerned, a job well done by the USA. Here are the highlights. the USA have been serving the ball that was that ace serve from uh, that we saw earlier on in the first set it's a very good serve indeed from Dana Retke and this is where the USA have been serving that 50% where they put most of the ball that's at the front court swing hitter for Germany whereas Germany well they've been actually going after the uh, more often the back court swing hitter for the USA first set that Took just over half an hour. So we're hoping for uh, more of the same here. Oh, done very well. Sorry, did do very well. And first set, three points for her. Two, uh, one block, two attacks. Germany certainly went overawed by that first set. They were just outplayed at times. Second set now underway. Carly Lloyd with the serve. Changes for the USA. No changes for Germany either as they keep this ball in play. Hoisted high. Germany reset set their block defense. And Thompson just too good. Slicing through Germany's defense. A super spike from her. Pulls from the bench. Germany's defenders just getting on the same shoulder line, which is causing them a few issues. Issues. Lena Stigrot and uh, Anna Pogiani together in defence, but that ball went right in between them, and then they kind of backed off it. 
when you're playing defense, you have to stagger your line. So one player is in one position, and the player next to them is slightly behind them. So if the first player misses it, the player behind can take it. Clever play from Barber. Thompson went at that a little too early. It was only ever block out as an option for Barber. Good experience with Thompson. Close to the point. Barber now with the serve. She's got a different coloured headband that matches her kit. Yesterday when they played in black, she had a black headband on. And she's just come up with an ace serve. Brilliant. So keeping her score ticking over nicely. Eight points for her. Six attacks, one block, and one ace. Thompson ends Barber's serving run. Vertman with her third point of the match. Big, big swing from Robinson. Forced error from Thompson. She was looking to tip the ball over, then decided to try and tip it inside on the cross court. Not enough on it. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. Place her volleyball in Turkey for Vakif Bank, Istanbul. Top teams in European volleyball. That's the Olympic bronze medal to her name from 2016. That's clever from Robinson, just putting that ball into an area where there are so many players. And it caused confusion. USA trebling up to deny any angles at all and wants to block for them. Robinson getting the touch. It's going to be a bit tight, but clever play. Lloyd gets wiped. Stigrock comes up with the point, had to play smart, and it did just that. <laughs> Kept in play by Fecky. Free ball for Germany. 
excellent. Schertzel sliding past Robinson. And that opened up the line for her to swing into. at the moment and we head into the first technical timeout it's Germany you have the lead Kelsey Robinson's had 10 points so far. I mentioned she's got an Olympic bronze medal to her name. She also has a World Championship gold medal to her name from 2014. Been an instrumental player for the USA over the last few years. To double figures here in this match. the 2018 Volleyball Nations League side that won, so she has the VNL gold medal. Perhaps that Lloyd could do about that. Schutzel making sure the ball didn't come back over. Right, there's no stopping her. Robinson to serve. The touch from Repke kept in play by Fecky. A very smart hit from Barber, looking for the hands, finding them. Despite the best efforts of Thompson, the ball doesn't come back. here against the USA Barber doing the business and Germany not overall by that first set loss in any way shape or form they lead by two here they are giving as good in fact if not better than they are getting from the USA right now and that is always a worry though the USA have some good blockers that's where they've been getting quite a few of their points actually they set for the monster block this time. Gibbermeyer shutting down Barber. Generally, I've seen enough. They call timeout.
was the issue earlier on that um, Carly Lloyd was having a chat about the referee about the fact that there was a, a shoe malfunction. The laces had broken for uh, Drevnik. And, uh, now getting an opportunity to sort out laces have snapped. It is important that you wear the right shoes. You just saw then from Lenka Durr, who was kneeling down, that the bottom of her shoes had a little circle on them. And that's really important because the movement in volleyball, the way you move, you need to be able to shift your feet laterally. So there are specific volleyball shoes you should wear. Wearing running shoes to play volleyball is a real no-no. Yet, it seems to be something that in the women's game they wear an awful lot. But um, running shoes are not very good for volleyball because they're unstable, they have a high heel. So, a lot of players now opt for a, a low basketball shoe, similar sort of thing to a volleyball shoe. And in comfort and stability. Back to the serving line. side of court. We've got a hitting both sides. Touch by Thompson, unfortunately, for the USA. Germany still holding on to their lead. Didn't find the line, unforced error from her. But it's not giving her enough. From the angle she came in at, the spin has taken it away from the line as well. Give him eye now to serve. USA just one behind. Oh, that could be in. No, nope, just missed on that sideline. Looked close. No challenge coming from the USA. Germany now back to two in front. Continues, but I think they're going to challenge this now on the other side. And the, uh, the head coach, Kozlowski, was shouting challenge, challenge, challenge during the middle of that rally because you can challenge during the rally if you see something that isn't given. And it's interesting because it's that one again. It's the ball into the net that didn't catch the block or did it? On two occasions it's happened so far against... Germany, they challenged when it was called for four, and it had hit the block. This time, when it's not been called, they've challenged to say that it, it didn't hit the block. to the net comes straight back and didn't actually catch the block from that angle well, it's been called as a replay but from that view it said it didn't touch the block and now he's not going to be very happy at all Oh, 
I'll tell you what, Kozlowski's not happy with this because from that angle, it looks as if the ball hasn't touched the block. Well, we're going to replay it. I think they've argued their case here and agreed that it actually it did touch the block. So Germany have been given the point. Score table, okay. making sure the score's right. Drevnik will serve. Germany lead by three. Those are the errors. Could prove to be costly for Germany as this set progresses. Too many niggly little unforced errors that just mean their momentum isn't able to keep continuing, doesn't carry forward and allows USA to go after them again. And suddenly one error becomes two and it's a one point game. Two errors become three, and just like that, the USA are level. Thompson will serve again. We're heading into the second technical timeout once this point is over. And it is going to be Germany who have the lead. Kessner with a cheeky little second ball over. Nelly Barber's been the go-to player for Germany so far in this game. 11 points for her, nine spike points of block and one serving ace. but she's got a great jump. She makes her first monster block. Quick hit from Schertzel before the USA were able to close the gap between nets and hands. Germany leading by one, trailing by one set to nothing. Rebecca was off on her swing, didn't link into the play. Wasn't really watching what uh, Carly Lloyd was doing here, just thought, oh, I'm going to get it, but didn't see exactly what was happening, the fact that the ball was too tight to the net, so unable to get any cover. Timeout called by the USA, Germany leading by two.
Schwitzel once again. Still yet to get a service ace, but not that easy to come by. Repke this time puts the ball on the floor. of Wisconsin. Again, letting the USA off the hook. And a free point. Nice and quick out wide, Barber. Having that swing before the USA really knew what was going on. Very good setting. Kessler. that one off Drevnik. by Thompson. Robinson gets called, three blockers were with her. And there was nobody really in front of Thompson, that fell very kindly for her. And the USA level things up right at the business end of this set. Super spike for Thompson. with an equally good spike for Germany to give them back the lead on the side out. Oh, belter from Thompson. Works really well on the ball about a meter off the net top of the antenna, in she comes. No one's going to stop that, she's well over the top of the block. Rob Minnesota in the USA, wasn't actually on a scholarship in the USA. He's a red shirt, so a walk-on player. Coming into the university team. Serving by the USA, they've edged in front now. Germany it is who call timeout.
give him eye now for the USA. Germany with some pressure to deal with. Oh, Robinson tried to get out of the way of it, Matrix style, but she's not the one and couldn't. Once again, all square now. USA looking for that side out to edge back in front. And Robinson, after a jump, adjusting her scrunchie from that last defensive play, comes up and uh, crunches the ball cross court. No one stopping that one. Yeah. It's always got to be Kessner's ball. She's the setter. Schertzel kind of getting in the way and then not knowing really what to do. She was trying to run a slide, but there was nowhere to go. And then she's ran into Kessner. Set point now for, Ger for the USA. Germany, well, they're in a spot of bother here. And it's an ace serve from Thompson. What a turnaround by the USA. It was Germany who led for most of that set, and then right at the business end, USA turn it around, they take the set 25-22, and they lead by two sets to nothing. Great serving run there from Jordan Thompson. game and actually yeah, she's had so too is uh, Dana Retke she's actually still at college USA is the middle blocker the University of Wisconsin what a huge honour that is to be playing national team volleyball in the USA whilst you're actually still at the university it doesn't happen very often TJ DeFalco was one that did that for USA men last year when he was still a senior States. So it's all going well at the moment for the USA. Still lots of plus points for Germany. They really did hold their own. But unfortunately, just at the end, they let it slip. Let the pressure get to them. The USA then, one set away from victory. Highlights from the second set. In which there were some good plus points for Germany, but it was the USA who dominated in the end. the stats from that second set same number of attacks USA with an extra block two extra serves in terms of aces and that was the difference and, uh, Germany which gave as good as they got Thompson's been playing well she kind of came on as a substitute match day one showed what she was all about took over from Andrea Drews and so far hasn't looked back she was named the American Athletic Conference Player of the Year in 2016 and 18 after being a unanimous first choice as a freshman. She 
broke the University of Cincinnati school record for single season kills, 827 in 2018. That is the third highest in the history of the NCAA. So second set done and dusted, third set underway, USA take the first point. It's back in back to the serving line. Good up. Free ball, though, of sorts here for the USA. That one hasn't quite found the court from Thompson. to serve again. Well watched by Kessner. Better opportunity for the USA to score here, although Fecky couldn't have a swing, so seeing three blockers in front of her, placed it very nicely to position four where there was nobody defending. Clever play from Fecky. Youngsters, Jordan Thompson uh, done a red key, making sure there was nowhere for Schwertman to go. Excellent movement from the USA. Although Carly Lloyd decides to go to Retke. Schwerman didn't have to move because she was waiting for that one. She enjoyed the block. Well, it was a sensible play from Kelsey Robinson. Knew she couldn't have a swing, just put it over. And then USA reset their block defense. And Robinson lined up Retke perfectly to stop Drevnik. Wants to block, bringing out around the arena. Good time, Retke arriving late to finish the block, so Stigrot has the point. Germany back on level terms. Lovely ace from Kimberly Drevnik. Volleyball for SSC Parnberg Schwinn in Germany. Eighteen caps coming into this week of the Volleyball Nations League, making her 20th appearance in this game. USA have their side out. The scoreboard is ticking over like a metronome at the moment. One point for each side in succession.
break point for the USA. They get a service ace. Edge back in front. interesting watching the, the bench for uh, national teams. For the USA in particular, they have a whole routine of uh, little dance moves for certain points with certain players. The only other place I've seen that in men's volleyball is actually in the NCAA. Long Beach State University, Hawaii, and those teams, they all have little routines and so on. It's always good to watch. A sir from Repke. And, uh, in the VNL, the Australia men's team, they have a few moves that they like to uh, roll out on certain points and also during timeouts when the bench have a little run out. It's always interesting to watch. Germany equally no sign that we're going to see Jordan Larson, Andrea Drews or Julian Poulter for the USA. The coach is happy with the players that are out on court, the jobs they're doing. You can think about having dance moves and so on as the benches. It means you, you are moving, you are keeping warm to go on and play when required. It'll be a foot fault against Drebnik. It's an interesting rule, the centre-line violation. For it to be a violation, you have to have the whole of your foot over the whole of the line. However, you could fall on the other court, as long as your feet are on your side and you're not interfering with play, it wouldn't be a fault. So seven points for her so far. She's had three blocks and four spikes. It's going to stay in play. Robinson's foot was close to the three-meter line. No challenge coming, so too late now, even if Germany thought they'd saw something. The whistle goes. Gimemeyer takes the point. Let's see with a super spike on that slide. It was a good chase. And a free ball back for the USA. Drebnik's got along with Thompson is the height at which she hits the ball. Unfortunately for her, she's just not got the top spin she needed to put that one away. Mary Lake letting it go as it went over her head. However, do you think it might be in? To challenge the decision about. Oh, they were right to do so. That's miles in. So far, so good for Felix Kozlowski. He's not lost a single challenge in this match. Excellent. 
Charlie Lloyd got taken towards the left side of court. Givermar knew there was no room in front, instinctively came behind on the short ball, was able to have that swing unopposed. serve it's a good serve it's an ace serve for Fecky the lead increases for the USA the ace count is now up to seven Not for Fecky but for the the whole team sometimes you can go through a whole match with no aces It's a high count at the moment for the USA. We're up to the fact eight now. Whereas Germany have three, which is about your average. Robinson went early, swung early on the ball. And it goes down Germany's side because they're still trying to get their block in position. Schwertman was late. Well, that'll be uh, two touches against Retka because the ball came to her and she's volleyed it. She wasn't blocking. She's taken the so deep to have been a volley, a first touch, and then when she dug it, not allowed to do that. The only time you can play the ball twice is if it hits you in the act of blocking, and then you can play it, the block not counting as a touch. Oh, that's a massive block. Stigrock shutting down Thompson, and then it comes back and hits Thompson. Drevnik, but she's out of the play. Doesn't matter. Stigrup gets it off the block and away. Thompson had no idea where it had gone once it hit her hands. You can see why, because she's not looked at the ball. She's closed her eyes and put her head down. And then turned around to face it to court. Took the wrong way to where the ball went. Really important when you're blocking to not close your eyes, not turn away, not look at your feet, but look at the ball look at the spiker and see what they're doing. So that way you know where the ball's gone. I have a very good idea of where it's gone. No touch given, although there's going to be a challenge for it. It's a really good pickup from Mary Lake. Well, we're asking if there's a net touch actually. So, not necessarily block touch, that's not what they thought. Didn't look like it came off the block. So, the ball was travelling out. The question is that they need to find out now was if there was a net touch, did that net touch occur before the ball hit the floor? If the ball had hit the floor and then the net touch has happened, it doesn't matter. The rally's over the minute the ball hits the floor. seen a few split screens where that has been the question so seeing the uh, net touch and then seeing the ball you can clearly see on one occasion that uh, the net touch the ball had bounced and then the net touch had occurred so it wasn't a fault so just having a check now to make sure one whether there was a net touch or not if there's no net touch doesn't matter what's happened to the ball it was out so that's the point for Germany if there was a net touch there wasn't now, the reason, again, this is another classic, the net's moving, and you think as a player, oh, there was a net touch, 
because having a memory of a goldfish in the rally, which most people do, that ball had hit the net during the rally and everyone forgets it. And then you see the last action and you see the net going up and down, you think there must be a net touch and then call for it. Happens so often. Net touch that time by Germany. Robinson unable to have a swing, just played it deep. Germany couldn't stay out of the net. That's a good serve from Thompson. It's a brilliant serve because Schertzel couldn't bring it back. for her now. Well, it's gone as an ace, but it's had two touches. It's a shank, and then it's then been dug out of play. Stigrup finds the gap in the block. Thing that is stand out for Germany is despite the fact that they've made errors they haven't made a massive run of them so the fact that they are only a point behind they've showed some really good passages of play and as Kozlowski will expect they do make a few errors from the serving a little few unforced errors but that aside it's a team that you can see has got the potential to do really really well in the coming seasons What it does tell us, that, uh, the way Germany are playing, is the USA have to be on their A game here. So have a look at some of the super slow-mo, capturing the emotions of this match here in Lincoln, Nebraska. Every point that you win, it's like scoring a goal in soccer. That's how these players feel. waiting to serve. USA with a two-point lead. They lead by two sets to nothing. That's a wild one from Drevnik. Probably just a few too many for her, really. Just let her concentration slip. Fecky had to adjust, kept her arm high, showed some snap on the ball. It was too difficult for Germany to deal with. Germany called the timeout. The ball from Barber was in way too flat and low. Very difficult for Kester to do anything with it. Plenty of ways that you can get involved with the Volleyball Nations League. Get on the website. You can also get on social media. Hashtag VNL, hashtag be part of the game at FIVB Volleyball. And you can watch every single Volleyball Nations League match on the FIVB TV. You can download the app for that. Over 250 matches from the men's and the women's Volleyball Nations League. And it's an ace serve. For the USA, great way to come out of the timeout. And tighten your grip on this match. Robinson with the ace. Obama did not like that at all. That swerved and dropped wickedly. To 
Just getting some perspiration off the court before she could serve again. It's another good serve. Barber is having a torrid time here. It might be a case of Kozlowski having to make a substitution, but that may not help because the other outside hitters haven't been on court the entire match. Barber's just let that hit her. She hasn't put any momentum into the ball. So it's another timeout by Germany. They have none left now in this set. Koslowski has no intention of bringing any substitutes in. It's up to Barber and the rest of the team to play their way out of this situation if they can. Robinson with a rare mistake from the serving line. It just gives Germany a little bit of a let off. Robinson now 17 points in all. What we don't get from that stat is the errors she has made in order to find out a player's efficiency in a game. You add up their uh, plus points, take away their errors, and then you know where they're at. Nicely done, Rick, he's got that on the baseline. USA now four away from victory. the antenna off of the block so it's immediately out of play the red and white poles that you can see a bit like barbershop poles they're an extension of the sideline vertically and the ball has to be played inside them if it is played outside or it hits them it is out of play if the ball goes over the top of them it's out of play that's a great swing Becky going over top over the top of the block Another one for Fecky. More misery for Germany here, and the USA are edging ever closer to victory. Thompson. It's a little bit difficult for her falling backwards. Still goes down as an unforced error on her part. High and wide for Thompson. Makes the adjustment. Good pick up by Stigrut. Germany fighting hard to stay in this rally. Free ball though for the USA. Three front court attackers. Robinson on the pipe. Germany again slowing the ball down, getting it into transition. Oh, that is an absolute belter from Drivnik. Try as they might, the USA could not win that point. Drevnik gets into a great position. Brilliant swing. Oh, good serve. 
Well, that was clever. Fecky found some line to work with, and it brings up match point now for the USA. Robinson does the business, the ball gets put away in the corner. The USA take the set 25-18, and they have beaten Germany by three sets to nothing here in Lincoln, Nebraska. Fabulous point to finish on for the team. Nice swing into the corner, a positive note. And what's been a very positive game for the USA to use Larson or Polter. So Tori Dixon able to watch along with Andrea Drews and Chaco Bugu. It was a consummate performance. An opportunity for Karch Kirai to let the bench have a run out. They did the job brilliantly. strength and depth with their current squad. Each round of applause for the fans who reciprocate with a loud cheer from their team. One more match to come for the USA. They take on Brazil on match day three. Germany will be taking on Korea. Korea looking for victory of if they can get one. Germany now have won one and lost one. USA remain undefeated. This is how it was done. Robinson right into the corner for her 18th point. More importantly, it was a match point for the USA. Nothing that Germany could do about that one. And then the USA could start celebrating. to do so. Great job by them. Well, that just about concludes our coverage here in Lincoln, Nebraska. We hope you have enjoyed the volleyball. It's been a successful outing for the USA. They will take on Brazil on match day three, looking to make it a clean sweep here on home soil. Until then, from all of us here, it just remains to say thank you for watching to see you again on match day three so as the teams warm down Thoughts will be on the games to come and whether or not they'll get to play. But from all of us here, though, it is now time to say goodbye.